This is a solution of approximately 40 grams of platinum in 1400 milliliters of liquid. I have a stainless steel bowl here, a pitcher of water, and over here I have a beaker that I've begun to dissolve the required 60 grams of potassium chloride in 175 milliliters of distilled water for the precipitation portion of the reaction. I'm going to place the platinum solution into the stainless steel bowl and I'm going to add the tap water around the edge of the beaker. This will be my cooling bath which I'll be adding some water to here in a moment. You want to fill it up to the level of your solution. I'm going to stop slightly below the level of my solution so I can add some ice and then we'll see if I need any more water. I've filled the pitcher about half full with ice and now I'm going to dump this into the water. I'm going to add some more ice as this does not seem to be enough. There's a little bit of solution above the cooling bath level, so I'm going to top that off with water and let this sit for approximately 30 to 45 minutes to cool down. While the platinum solution is cooling, I've managed to get the potassium chloride or sylvite salt dissolved into the water. At this point, since sylvite is a natural compound, it does have some impurities that are not soluble in water in it, so I will filter it through this filter into a beaker. I'm filtering the hot solution. The typical solubility of potassium chloride is 34.4 grams of potassium chloride in 100 mils of room temperature water. I use distilled water for the cleanest reaction, but you can use tap water if you prefer. As you can see the brownish color is staying in the filter. It's proof that there are some impurities in the sylvite or potassium chloride salt and this is why I've filtered it. They're small amounts but they won't be in my platinum. Here's the solution after it's been filtered. Saturated potassium chloride and it is ready for the reaction. Now I'm going to add the saturated potassium chloride solution to the cold pregnant platinum solution and you'll see the instant precipitation reaction. There are no camera tricks and this is not time lapsed or anything. This is just immediately you see reaction whenever I pour in the potassium chloride to the cold solution. That's the platinum potassium chloride forming. Give it a little swirl. And now let it cool off some more and precipitate completely. Take your glass rod and stir the solution vigorously to make sure that the potassium chloride comes in contact with the solution. And you can wash this yellow salt off your glass rod back into the reaction beaker with just a regular water squirt bottle. I've pulled the solution that's precipitating out of the ice bath just so you can see how the colored powder looks and also how the solution looks as the powder settles out of it.